Okay, you guys, while we're on the topic of simplifying trig expression, let's do another one. Um, here's some keys to success, and I can't convince you of this any more than I can, frankly, convince you of this. But this is crucial. You have to know your fundamental trig identities. There are about eight of them. If you have questions, please look up uh, one of my videos on fundamental trig identities. If still, like, what in the hell are you talking about, Charlie? Can you just comment to me, and, and I'll just put it out there for you to see, because... If you know those eight identities, and gosh, it makes it so much easier. Um, the second uh, key to success is to look for patterns, and especially in your algebra two. And the problem that we're about to do really, I think, um, really, really demonstrates what I'm saying. So here we are. We're asked to simplify this sine cubed theta plus cosine cubed theta over sine theta plus cosine theta. So I look at this at first, and I was like, holy crap. And then I take my own advice here, and I say to myself, isn't this sum of cubes, right? This is sum of cubes. So if you don't remember, let me remind you that a cubed plus b cubed is actually equal to, remember this, a plus b times a squared minus ab, right, plus b squared. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to rewrite this. So here's my rewrite. my rewrite. So this, I can show this as, and check out how good this is, I can break this up into the AB is sine theta, isn't it, plus cosine theta times, right, A is sine, so sine theta squared, right, so sine, sorry, squared theta, either way it's right, minus sine theta, cosine theta, right, plus cosine squared theta. And I know right now you're going, how the hell did that help? You'll see in just a second, right? So all I did was I rewrote the denominator. This denominator right here is rewritten as that, okay? And then I'm just going to bring this piece in here. We have, we have sine theta plus cosine theta, sine theta plus cosine theta. Believe it or not, we're almost done, you guys, right? Help, help. All right, sorry. Right, so look at this. Sine theta, oh, sine theta plus cosine theta over sine theta cosine theta, right? Just leaves me with this piece left up here, doesn't it? So it leaves me just with this because the rest of it canceled out to one, right? Because sine theta plus cosine theta over sine theta plus cosine theta, these are now factors and they cancel out, right? So I'm just going to take this, and I'm going to rewrite this a little bit. This sine squared theta here is this one. So here's my sine squared theta, check mark. And then here's my, my plus, so my plus cosine squared theta, right? That gives me that piece right there. And then this minus, minus sine theta cosine theta, theta, right? Theta, our angle of interest. <clears throat> now I'm going to go back to these Pythagorean identities. And if you look at, in the first Pythagorean identity, we know this, and I want you to challenge you to go back and look. We know that this thing is defined as 1. This negative sign is this one, sine theta, cosine theta, and we're done. So that's our answer. Okay? Look, I'm going to do some more problems like this. If you can get this, if you can get your algebra skills and start looking for those patterns and if you can memorize these fundamental uh, trig identities you can really do this and it's a cool thing when you can do it so all right good work looking for your comments